Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. In this video, we're going to go over 16 beginner-friendly HTML, CSS, and JavaScript projects that you can make to help augment your abilities and help build your skill set. So for each one of these projects, I already have a video or a video playlist, except for two of them, and I will go over which of those two are. But for most of these projects, I've got a video playlist tutorial series that goes over how to create each one. So if you get stuck or you just want someone to guide you through them, you can check out those. Those are in the description. So let's just jump right in. I've ordered these from the easiest to the hardest projects that you can make. So let's just get started right now. So the first one is a background color changer. So when you click on this button, as you can see, it changes the background of the page and it shows you the hex code of that background. And so it's very simple. All it involves is this one button and all it involves is this background. So that can be a very simple project to make. Now let's move on to number two. Number two is a counter. Now this counter starts out at zero. You, when you click the add button, it adds a number to the current counter. And when you click subtract, it decreases that number by one and it moves into the negatives. All right, another very simple project. You can check out the description down below if you wanna figure out how to make it or you can try working on it by yourself. Now number three is a message passer. Very simple as well, you type a message. Hi, this is Steam Code. And when you submit, it shows the last message delivered. Hi, this is Steam Code. So this will help you work on your abilities of the JavaScript, displaying and capturing information from different elements within the page. And next we have a CSS visualizer. So what this does is it actually allows you to see in real time what's going on with the CSS elements that you're working with. So you can change the width of this project or of this square, change the border radius so it can get more circular. You can change the color as well. You can do this with as many CSS elements or as many CSS descriptors as you'd like. I just chose color, border radius, and width. But this is very good to get you familiar with CSS and get you familiar with how these different elements work in accordance with all three of these languages. And next we have a clock. Very simple. All it involves is mostly JavaScript and a little bit of CSS and a little bit of HTML to actually display this and change the background color. But as you can see, it just shows the current time down to the second. 8.50, 21 seconds. All right, very similar to the clock, we have the stopwatch. Now, this is one of the two that I don't have a video on, but you can use some of the same exact concepts that you see I've used for the clock. You can check out the video if you'd like. You can use those exact same concepts to help think of how to make the stopwatch. And if you have any questions, you can just leave them down in the comment section down below, or you can head to our Discord and I'll answer whatever questions you throw at me. Next, we're getting into a little more of the game section, tic-tac-toe. So because this is a game, it's a little harder than the previous ones, but it's still beginner friendly. And as always, I've had, I already have a tutorial series on this one. You can check it out. But the most basic game you can create is tic-tac-toe, so it's a very good starting point. Now moving on from tic-tac-toe, we have Connect 4. A little more complicated, a little more complex, but it's still a fairly simple board game. Only has two players, only has two colors, and one winner. So it's a very simple thing that you can create. And next we have Sudoku. A little harder than Connect 4 because it involves all these numbers, it involves arrays, but it helps you get familiar with double arrays and helps you get familiar with checking different win conditions each time the player plays. So as you can see, I can input a number, I can change it in real time. And then when I solve the Sudoku problem, it'll say that I've won. Next we have Mastermind, a little more complicated of a game. What this game is, is you basically place the colors here and long story short, it'll tell you whether or not these colors that you've placed are correct. You can check out the video series to see more in depth how the rules work and more in depth how to create this. Or you can just look online for the general rules on how Mastermind works and then you can try to start developing this. Now, Minesweeper is another one of those games that I did not create a tutorial series for, so I actually just went on CodePen and looked up a Minesweeper HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code. And so as you can see here, it's a very simple game of Minesweeper made in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And if you don't know what Minesweeper is, basically you click on these cells and you hope not to click on a bomb based on the numbers that you see around here. 
Now we're getting a little harder, a numbers to words converter. What this is, is it'll get any number you throw at it and convert it to its numerical representation. As you can see here, I put 222 and it converted it to 222 as it should. You can throw whatever numbers else, 2,221,313. Just keep on throwing numbers at it and it'll turn whatever those numbers are into their numerical representation. So it's a little more complicated, it involves a little more algorithms, but it really helps get you in depth with how to work with those. And next we have our idle game. So what an idle game is, if you don't know, it's similar to the popular game Cookie Clicker, in which you can click on a button and you increment whatever stat you have. And then you can use those stats to either get money, have something auto click for you. So as you can see, I bought one auto chopper. So now I'm collecting logs automatically. You can buy another one to collect even more logs. So on and so forth. It continues from there. And next we have a circle splitter. So what this is, basically you start off with one black circle. You hover over it. It turns into four equally sized circles. And with each circle that you hover over, they turn to four equally sized smaller circles. So it's a very simple but it gets a little more complex than what you might initially assume. And this also teaches you about D3.js, which is a it's a library for JavaScript that allows you to make graphical representations or little graphics like you see here. So it'll get you introduced to how to use D3.js and also how to use more of these algorithmic um, visual representations. And we have two more. Both of them are animations. This first one is a canvas animation. It's very simple. As you can see, if we reload the page, let's reload the page. Once we press the OK button, we're able to start the animation. And it's just a very simple square bouncing around the screen. And this is made using the JavaScript canvas or the HTML canvas. So it's bare bones JavaScript. And lastly, we have a 3.js animation. Now 3.js is another JavaScript library. And what this does is allows you to make 3D representations of whatever you'd like. So there have been multiple sites created with 3.js, and it's a very useful skill to have to be able to create these types of 3D animations using only JavaScript. So it's a very, very, it's very useful for beginners to understand how to create things like this. All right, and those are all 16 projects for beginners that you can start creating right now to augment your skills in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Remember, you can check out all these projects, except for the two that I mentioned, Minesweeper and the Stopwatch, in the description down below. I've posted them all, the YouTube playlist or the singular videos that cover them. And you can just try to work on them on your own as well to see if you can get those concepts cemented without having to look at the tutorial. And if you guys have enjoyed, check out our GitHub, check out our Patreon, check out our Discord, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.